She let me play with her heart. What'd you say? She let me play with her heart. That's one of the things he says. What you dying for? Cause I'm blind. Why? Oh, Simple as that. Why? I'm fly. I know that. I, that. I just want to be the why guy on on any track. Yeah. I just want to be the the, why? the accent. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to What We Into. I'm your host, Lawrence Dow. And I'm your boy, Ron Karma Robinson. Welcome to week 51. 51. We're, we're almost a year old. Like, almost. Technically. If like, you I did. mean, if you go by, right. you know, that, One week that, every... that barometer. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, as we just missed a week. Uh, uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I think I'm more excited to, to, to claim the moniker of being 52 weeks old. Why? Like I don't. I don't. I, I. There's something about that number meaning that you've made it through a a solar cycle. Okay. You know what I mean? Of there's weeks. Some, of weeks. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. It's momentous to we me. We put that amount of work in. Yeah. And, know, I, and I know. I know we've done more than fifty-two episodes. 52, technically, yeah. Because you know we chop them up and you yeah. Know. But uh, but no, just just to be like. In the parentheticals, to be like fifty-two weeks, motherfucker. Now, I feel like now would be the time to roll out our new logo. Now, now, now is okay. Now is when you would throw the the, well, the what gonna, we into deuce. Yeah, I was gonna hold. Logo. I was gonna hold it down, but now I'll release my finger from the button. There it goes. All right. Now well, it's cool. up. We are. So we now are. we have a new logo. New thanks, logo. thanks to Wade. I almost, Wade, I almost said Cockrum. Wade Leo Stro. Cockrum is his old his old uh, name. Really? Is, is Leo Stro his, his? He had some accidents back in Indiana no. and okay. killed a few people. Oh, accidentally. Well, it's I, well, I understand charges. that. I understand yeah. that. I'm, I'm actually wanted in a few states myself. There you go. <laughs> well, it depends. I mean, what's statute limitations on that? Uh, I, I mean, well, I ain't murdered nobody that I know of. That's what I'm saying. Um, but uh, I, I feel like ten years is, is a long enough time to be like, eh, we don't need that guy. Yeah, we don't need that guy. But I am a black guy, so I mean, like, you never know. Statue limitations we'll might be like. We'll just sir. make some new rules. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, it turns Bye. out, uh, yeah. This turns out like failure to appear is actually like uh, <laughs> a, a, a diable offense. Well, yeah, first, yeah, diable. I don't even. The other, the other, the other things they went, they they they're gone. But now the failure to appear, that's the new thing. That's the, yeah. And we failed to appear for the failure Again, to appear. Then, that's the new thing on top of yeah, that. Dog the Bounty Hunter is going to run. <laughs> I, I can't even finish that joke, son. I can't even. I, I won't finish that I'm joke. I'm pretty sure if Dog comes from you, we can probably take him. I feel like if Dog comes from me, we're going to have to hire a, a paranormal investigator to come uh, kill that mullet. You know what's not good about mullets is you can just grab them. That's why That's why they don't allow mullets in the army. You know what? You're right. You just grab the right. mullet. Although I did see a dude rocking a mullet recently, and I wasn't sure if it was a mullet. It totally was. And it I was, was like... I fucks with that. <laughs> I, like, I, like, you know how hard it was for me to sort of like take the impetus and think about the like. I was like, look, <clears throat> that actually looks good on that dude. Yeah, sure, on that dude. Some people does. Some people. Some I'm like, people. Because it took me. A, it took me a second. I was like, yo, is this motherfucker rocking a mullet? What's his face from uh, Stranger Things? What, what, who uh, the, the the brother that died in season three. Oh yeah, but see now that's a character choice for right. For that, he's not living it. In he's real not life. living in the real world. He he's not committed. He's not picking up milk at the bodega, being like, yeah. "This is I'm me." The with the mullet, <laughs> you I'm know? doing me right now. Yeah. So anyway, how come you don't see a lot of mullets on black dudes? Because uh, we know better. <laughs> <laughs> you could have a fro mullet. Come on, no. Bring the fro no, mullet. You couldn't. Bring the Jerry Curl mullet. Mm, uh, uh, what are you? Are you? What are you talking about? Are you I'm insane? Talking, I think these. No, these the are... Jerry Curl should have never been a thing, and nor should it ever be a thing again. We we will not go back. You trying to set the movement back right I now? I don't think it's gone. You trying to set the movement every back. now and then? I see a Jerry Curl. <laughs> You're a goddamn lie. Every, every okay. now and then. Come and, on. And then what is it? That probably the dude wearing that, or 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 female or woman, um, who's wearing that Jerry Curl? Uh, what is the, what does the outfit look like? Are they like? Caught in a, the remnants of a like an '80s extra movie. It's or... like if you took Elvis and put him in a Prince outfit. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> like exactly. Not, not not young Elvis. So somebody somebody who was got trapped in the, the DeLorean and then showed up in <laughs> real world and was like, oh shit, I'm still fly. Somebody not, who doesn't understand fly. what their body looks like. Not not fly. Yeah. Look, Jerry Crow was never a good thing. Let's just let's just let's just let's just state that unequivocally right here at the top of the podcast. A Jerry Curl's not a good thing. I would argue that it's worth it just for the joke and coming to America. You copy all the things you've... 
always wanted to be beautiful, sexy, easy as one, two, three. Just let your soul go. Okay. I, I would argue that it's not worth it because it bur- Michael Jackson got white after that. That's, <laughs> what he, it, it, it that, that's when he got white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He got burnt up on the Pepsi set. <laughs> the jury car went up in flames. Came back, he was a white person. Yeah. Now I, I, I don't know how. Do you think he molested those kids because of the Jerry Curl? Mm, well, I mean, Jerry Curl is an evil thing, but I, I wouldn't go so far. I like right, that you so. considered that as a real question. <laughs> <laughs> I can set all questions on this podcast as real questions. Uh, let's get in some news. It's Channel 4 News at 6 o'clock. Did, 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 bow. did you hear that the uh, Netflix is doing a Witcher anime? Yes, I did. They basically actually. are just doing it for well, you. I, well, they, they, as they fucking should, because it's it's been so successful. Yes. It's, like, I, 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 I don't have the article in front of me, but Here, I, I, I was reading, not this one, but there was oh. one that, <laughs> no, not wrong, that man. one. You can't have my article, The, the article that, that I was ha- uh, uh, privy to recently was saying that the, uh, the Netflix Witcher has been the most successful Yeah. Um, Property in, in its short-lived life, uh, like more than any 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 recent uh, property that's come out, has it, it it's garnered more viewership than The Mandalorian. Yeah, it's garnered more viewership than your your coveted Game of Thrones. It it is it is so good on its own that they're making animes and you know and what's it's, garnered more viewership than all of that though porn because I say so it's my dick so because porn. no but seriously so we're, we're trusting Netflix on this. Who knows? They don't really release their viewerships. We're just, I mean, we're just I, going, okay, sure. I, I'm not saying I, they're I lying. Like, I, I mean, I feel like, why would why would they need to lie? I feel like somebody, I feel like some investigative young gumshoe reporter would be like, well, actually, Netflix is, uh, and here, here is the article in my sources. I call them deep throat. <laughs> you know, like, like a throwback to the, 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 the break-in at the DNC. Uh, wow. Yeah, so no. Called Nightmare of the Wolf, it's being helmed by The Witcher showrunner Lauren Schmidt, Hisrich, and writer Bo DeMeo, I think who also studio, worked in the first season. The studio uh, that's studio drawing Mer- this, uh, I think it's the same studio that, uh, is it Castlevania? Studio Mer, Korean animation company, Legend of Korra, Korra. Yes. And, Voltron, okay. and Voltron, Legendary Defender. So awesome. Yeah, yeah it, so the, the art style will be amazing. Yeah, so uh, we don't know yet if Henry Cavill or Anya... Wait, so... Is Henry going to come to voice? He's not going to voice the character. We don't know yet. Okay. I don't, why not? He says this, this is what he likes, man. This yeah, is a huge show. Like, why, that's, why look, I'm not. I, look, I I, 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 take my hat off to Cavill's performance in in these in these films. He was kind of a, a very good standout in them. Um, uh, I don't know. Give, give another motherfucker a job. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Like well, we already know Cavill. He, he, he or can do give the guy who did the voice in the, uh, in the video, video, game, video games a paycheck. Bang a rang. Yeah, I'm, I'm with that. Bang a rang. Let's let, let's do that. D- is it surprising that The Witcher? No, no. I know it's not surprising to you because you like it, but it's surprising to me that so many people that probably have not played the game or ever heard of The Witcher are watching The Witcher. I, That's surprising. And, and to me. This, this is what I was telling you when it came. I was like, this is how you do fantasy, right? Yeah. This is how you do fantasy right. I, I, I like for as much as I really wanted to love Game of Thrones for the fantasy aspect of it, I found it so uh, uh, pedantic and 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 tropish and like I, I was like I don't care. Mm-hmm. It, it it felt it 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 felt like it didn't it, it didn't have um, heart behind it. It felt like we're gonna make this as expensive and as shiny and as you know, monolithic as possible, but we're not gonna in- imbue it with anything that's like right. inherent from this 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 art form, like you know, fantasy. So, like, I th- I think that in and of itself is enough that uh, um, I don't you, know. You, you lost it there. Or yeah, I did. Yeah, I, yeah, I lost so it there. I I, where, where I, just, I got emotional. Okay. I got emotional. Uh, uh, is what it is. Uh, uh, season two of The Witcher is coming out in twenty twenty one. Yeah. Uh, let's, so what's the, what's up, the month here? Let's see. It. Did they give us a month? No, they probably won't. No, no, just twenty twenty one. There's like any any time in the year twenty twenty one. I mean, we'll look, figure it's, it out. It's, it's gonna be it's it's gonna be huge. You think, <clears> you think money did, will ruin it? You, you think, think money will ruin it? Yeah. No, a, I actually this is one of the things that I felt was was a, a negative for it. I was like, it didn't have it didn't have the pockets that Game of Thrones had, and I feel like if it had the pockets that Game of Thrones had, it it, it probably would have been the best fantasy uh, IP uh, you know in an hour long format that you could have gotten in the last decade easily. Mm-hmm. Easily, even with those little eight episodes that they that they had start to finish. Right. 
Uh, Universal Studios and Blumhouse Entertainment are remaking The Thing. Mm-hmm. They're using these lost pages from Who Goes There, but, science fiction writer John W. Campbell. Before we jump into The to Thing, I, I wanted to, to do, uh, you know, Netflix, because Netflix seems to be doing a lot of these kind of um, video game properties or yeah. like anime properties yeah, yeah. because uh, they they announced a, a a One Piece live action series. Yeah. You know that? I you saw know, that, that in my properties? news and was like, not good enough for me, pass. Oh, here, here's the thing. I feel but I like... I thought Rob would like this, but I pass. feel like I might. I feel like I might, but only because like One Piece was... It was between One Piece and Dragon Ball. Right. When, when it came time to make a choice between animes that have over 700 goddamn episodes right. and what to follow and what not to. And a lot, a lot of people really love One Piece. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't grab me the way that um, Dragon Ball did. So I didn't follow it. But but it, it, it says something that that it, it has to say something to the the fan base and the acclaim of a property like that, right. where like it, it's garnered enough of a following that you're gonna now do a live action version of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm just just moving this here oh, just for oh, a second. Okay. Just... All right. Uh, I just uh, want to hear more of your sexy voice. No. Uh, well, I mean. So wait. So you didn't watch One Piece? No. I, I I watched very few episodes of One Piece. It, it was the it was the anime that I couldn't like. I they, I, I could have gotten down with One Piece if Dragon Ball hadn't existed. Okay. It was one of the other. It was you. one of the other. I couldn't do both because they were both such monolithic, epic, well over like. Each one of those properties has like well over like eight hundred episodes. That's Episodes in the canon. That's, That's crazy. That's too much. It's ins- I mean, it's not too much. I-, I think it's just a credit to like good comic book writing because all these things are, are comics. They're-, they're they're manga. You know, they're yeah. weekly. They you can basically go to Japan and and follow the story of the anime. You know, or Barnes actual- and Nobles or Barnes and Nobles in in the you know in the fucking book. So for, you know, a credit to, to somebody like the way that we're producing content weekly <laughs> a credit to a motherfucker that has been doing that for 800 or so episodes. i'd like to just credit okay. ourselves <laughs> as we always no. do every single episode Goddamn right good on us uh but yeah so i guess they're gonna remake the thing yeah with new content from the original novel i'm down uh there was a 2011 version of the thing it was kind of like really? a prequel Starring uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead and Joel Egerton. Didn't hear And it focused this. on the original researchers in Antarctica who discovered the alien scene in the 1982 so film. So clearly John not Carpenter. good. Uh, it's okay. If Is you it? like, it's, it doesn't, it's not as good as the first movie, but Laurel and I actually re- recently rewatched both of these. Uh-huh. Uh, and yes, we know that the, the, the thing was originally a, another movie way back in like the 50s, I believe. Um, but if you watch the remake, or not that, excuse me, the prequel... There's a lot of these little bits, but you actually need to watch the, the original, original first, first to understand those bits. Right. So it's this weird thing where you watch the 2011 version, then we went back and after that watched the 1982 version. Uh-huh. But really, start with the 1982 version and then watch the 2011, and it's pretty interesting. It's okay. not perfect. Okay. It's not as nearly as good as the John Carpenter version, mm-hmm. but it's still pretty interesting. Okay. It's still pretty cool. Okay. So I'm not. I'm. So, you know, all right. All right. Let's. All right. I'll put it on the docket. Uh, yeah. So th- this has already been. A, what, what, what was that? The re. The, prequel called just the thing oh but that they didn't even change that okay. no, they, no they don't no. change they okay. don't have to they're just like okay, okay. um but yeah see what you think you might like it <clears throat> the other thing you might like is that the bioshock collection is, is the free playstation uh plus games this is Bio- bioshock and what else sims 4 yeah that's not bad i've never played a sims game of you really a, a bunch of them yeah like one two and three i feel like i ha- i feel like i live the sims I've got like a I family mean, and I kids. Feel like your your and life like, is a little bit sim. Yeah, yeah. Sim. Like it'd be like if if I like I went home and I <laughs> I was like, oh, here, my little Lawrence said, oh, let me put him in the box with it. Oh, hey, you got it. I feel like I just get pissed off. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. I gotta clean again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel like, I feel like your, your sim in particular would just be mad all the time. Uh, you have that little cloud over your fucking sim head. All of the course, time. You're not gonna have sex tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid sims. No, but that, that that's a good that's a good month. That's it a is a good month. month. How how many of the Bioshock games did you play? All of them. I've played every single one. Uh, we also because just... well uh, because the first two my cast my classmate from grad school did the voiceover work <gasps> for. Ooh. Uh, shout out to that boy Carl Hanover. I know you don't, you're not listening, but uh, I picked up that first Bioshock mm-hmm. game like right after I graduated from grad school, and uh, I went home and put it in and started playing it and. Heard my classmate, I was like, "Holy what? shit, what the fuck?" So I oh, called him. I was like, "Dude, his voice." Yeah, I was like, "Dude, did you do some voiceover work for a video game?" He's like, "Oh yeah," and he's, he's like super Irish, like yeah. Dublin as fuck. 
So he's like, oh yeah, man, I did blah 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 blah. And I was like, word. I'm like, man, I'm sitting here at home playing playing this game, and you're you're prominently featured in this game. He's like, oh yeah, da 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 da. Cut to. Uh, the, the first one did so well that they made a second one, and yeah. I guess they asked him to come back. So he does the voiceover work in both Bioshock 1 and Bioshock 2. And they did Bioshock Infinite? Three. They did Bioshock 1, 2, and 3, and then Bioshock Infinite was the fourth game in the... In... Is that true, really? Yes. There's four this, of them? So, yeah, there's four. So this Bioshock collection on the PlayStation Now... These we'll are, probably, these... It'll probably be 1, 2, and 3. I don't think they'll give you Infinite. PlayStation Now. PlayStation Plus game. So if you have a subscription, this is like if you have a PlayStation 4 and you... For those who don't know, you pay the monthly fee so that you can be... Actually, you don't pay a monthly fee. I mean, you can pay monthly, but it's just smarter to just buy the year. It's cheaper. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you pay the yearly fee so you can play online. Then every every month, they give you free games. Also, actually, you don't need the subscription to play online. That's only Xbox. That was one of the draws for me, is that you don't have to be a PlayStation Plus member to play online. Like, if if the game has online capabilities, you, can, you don't have to have the, the membership to play online. What, is that true? Yes. Because long before long before I was a PlayStation Plus member, I was playing Call of Duty and all those online games. It's on Xbox is the one that requires you to have a, a subscription to play online. If the game if the game comes with an online capability, you need to pay for the subscription to pay online. But the PlayStation doesn't have that. What it what why I started paying for the PlayStation Plus was the exact reason we're talking about now is that every month they gave you two free games. And depending on if you had multiple systems, you got more than two free games because they were putting out games for um, the the Vita for a while. Uh-huh. You would get a free game for the Vita. You would get a yes. free game for the PS3. Yes. You yeah. would, so, like, it was just it was just an impetus to get free games. Yeah. I didn't have to be a member. It just was a boon. I was like, I'll, I'll take two free video games a month for the... Now I'm suddenly you know. on the fence if I'll keep paying for this. Well, I mean, because I, I, yeah, I mean, you're right. You, you don't you if you it's don't like forty five bucks a month a year, basically. Is it that much? Yeah, oh, wow. I mean, you can get deals on it because it, the price goes up and down. But yeah, it's it's around forty to fifty bucks a, a year. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I I basically start since I've started paying for it. I just usually pay for the year and then right. wait till Me it too. rolls over. Yeah. Um. But yeah, you don't need it to play online games. Yeah. Okay. It's only the Xbox that 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 you that has that requirement. Yeah, I did not realize that. Well, that's why you got me, bro. I got you here. Um, you also got me to uh, remember last week we were talking about uh, that Obi Wan show yes. that was canceled R- or not. Well, technically, or it's it's or reportedly not. on hold, and the right. crew has been dismissed. Uh, I mean, Wait. that's not quite dismissed. canceled. It sounds like fucking canceled to me, though. Dismissed. I don't know. According to Ewan McGregor, yeah. however, the, uh, yeah, he says the scripts are really, really good. They want to make them better. And they just slid the production to shooting next year. Uh-huh. So it's not as dramatic as it sounds. I okay, just got okay. to Birds of Prey's Harleywood and Highland event tonight. And it's like, oh my God, look at all this stuff. It's mm-hmm. not that dramatic, he says. I think that we have the same, we're airing on the same day and all that stuff. So either he's downplaying it. What What do you think is more true? That he's downplaying it or that there, this thing has been canned? If it was canned, I don't think he would go out on a limb here and say that it's still... It's still, the, it's still it going slid. on, and yeah. you're just pushing the schedule. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And if they they don't need the crew if they slid the production to next year. Yeah, you were giving these motherfuckers a lot more benefit of the doubt than I would. Well, he's a big... The reason I, I think it's not canceled is because he's a fairly big star. Mm. What I heard, the rumor was, was the original scripts that Kathleen Kennedy came out and said, I think at San Diego Comic-Con or wherever, and was like, we've got Obi-Wan's and the scripts are already written and they're going to be fantastic. And uh-huh. However, the original scripts were mostly about how Obi-Wan was going to... Uh, protect Luke as a baby, right? And Leia as a baby, right? And now what does that sound exactly like? The Mandalorian. A, a bunch of bullshit. Right. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. So it sounds it like, like they had similar bullshit. ideas for these two Disney Plus TV shows. And then they were like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> we should probably coordinate better. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh, wait a minute. Let's listen to the fan base for a hot second. They hate that shit. The only thing they love about that show is the goddamn Yoda, uh, Yoda, Youngling what, what, Puppet, oh, Youngling oh, Puppet. Almost got you. Almost got That's you. That's the only thing. Yeah. So you know, whatever. They're gonna they're gonna rewrite it. I, I don't think they're okay. just gonna fuck. They're gonna fuck it off. Dick over you and McGregor. No. Okay. If they didn't have him attached to it, I could see that. Yeah, sure. They might just scrap it. Okay. But they've got this actor who's ready to go with it. And Ewan McGregor's been eager to jump on this thing okay. for a long time. All right. So. I mean, based on that series of evidence. Uh, introduced to the court, will will uh, your honor? We'll allow it. Okay, <laughs> we'll allow you allow everything. We'll we'll allow it. I do, uh, and I'll allow that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we're on a permission to treat the witness as hostile. <laughs> I'll show you hostile. I'll show, choke, you, choke you out on this mic right now, homie. Farts are hostile. Uh, Work Davis uh, has come out and given an interview to uh, where where the hell Inverse dot com. Okay, and he talks about that the Willow, Willow script, the TV show, pretty much coming to Disney Plus. Oh. Is uh, not quite as far along as people think it is, mm-hmm. but they've got the right people that have come together. He says, and uh, there's a firm chance that it could happen. So, How- so you got another actor who is kind of <laughs> confirmed for a even thing more that famous we, than you and McGregor. Yeah, kind of confirmed for what we and he's and he's out here being like, e- it's happening, <laughs> it's happening. I'll yeah, take okay. I'll take anything with Warwick okay. Davis, man. Yeah, me too. You you know I will. Because, I mean, Warwick, I feel like, has suffered in obscurity in a lot of these Harry Potter films. Because I, I feel like I've seen him. Yeah. I've been like, is that, is that Willow in a, in a bald wig and a mat? I think that's Willow. That's, that's Willow. Willow. But I can't, I can't, con- I can't well, confirm or disconfirm. He was in uh, The Rise of, Sky- of Skywalker. He was Wicked. He plays the Ewok, Wicked. Oh, At wait. that end. For that five seconds of unnecessary shot of showing the Ewoks. And somehow, how long do how do e- I honestly? I feel like I've blanked that. Like, like, this trauma. Like, there was an Ewok in that last. Yes, part? yeah. There was like mm-hmm. shots of Ewoks for like he, five seconds. Not not that like where we're go- like the ghost thing where they were like showing like hearing you hearing like ghosts of people. Or I whatever. think you must have sighed really deeply and disappointingly <laughs> and closed your eyes and dropped your head for no, a moment. I mean, that's when it, it came. It could on. have had. I, honestly, I feel like while we were watching, because I was there with the family, I feel like we were all genuinely wrapped up in it and kind of enjoying it. I think what happened is once once the the wash of the the darkness of of the the theater washed over as we walked out into the sunlight, we were like, oh, we got our senses back. God, um what happened? What the fuck just happened Jesus in there? Christ. Did they kiss each other? What, what what what? And then all the questions started to flood our our natural brains and we yeah. were like, hmm. I don't think that was a good film. I felt like I was assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> battered like you like we've spoken like i feel like uh if you're a star wars fan in this day and age you, you, like you a battered are a battered wife yeah you're you're in a, a relationship that's abusive yes uh but so he's also work davis is trying to pitch to disney another tv spinoff based on his character from solo star wars story as well as phantom menace weasel Who now the fuck was he in, in solo He's he's like no one. He's in for like one shot. But he's also the same with like like Phantom Menace. This is what I was saying. He's in like, there for I feel like, like one shot. I feel like Warwick has literally suffered in obscurity. Like we, we he we, he did Willow. Willow crushed, right. and then he just got re- like we need a little person to to fill out this suit and be in this yes, frame. I'll do it. And then, then that, that's basically has been his trajectory. No, I mean I'll literally do it. Like, <laughs> Laura Style will do it. Just call me, guys. I will be any character that Warwick Davis is. <laughs> I, I, you know what? Good on him. I, I I think Warwick needs to go get his money. So he says, a character I'd love to bring back would be Weasel. I think he deserves a little bit more. The experience I had on Solo was so fantastic, but I think there's sort of an intrigue to that character. Oh, so, so. <laughs> I'd like to know what he got up so, wait, to between ca- Phantom Menace and Solo. Why did he take Weasel? that path? But think about it. Like, wait, is the character's name Weasel? Yes. Yeah. See, I, I started laughing because wasn't Pauly Shore... <laughs> the Weasel. The Weasel. <laughs> the, like, I'm... I have this. The movie in my mind is playing Warwick Davis doing yeah. Polly Shore. That's why we need a team up: Polly Shore, <laughs> Warwick Davis in a Star Wars universe. <laughs> think about it. It would be. No, a, this is the show see, that you really want. No, I, you don't, I don't want. You don't, I don't want, think want the I Mandalorian. Want I don't think I want that. You want <laughs> Polly Shore, Warwick Davis, squeezing in the a comedic, juice. a comedic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want to see Polly Shore and Warwick Davis do a shot by shot remake of Twins. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Arnold Schwarzenegger, Danny DeVito movie from, what was that, the 90s? That yes. was the 90s, right? Yes, and. <laughs> <laughs> Keep this improv going. Yes, and. Let's just throw Danny DeVito in there as well before he dies, because I'll take okay. all the Danny DeVito okay. I can get. All right, all right. Well, what else you got? Well, what... <laughs> I'm still on this Warwick Davis thing, man. <laughs> no, I'm saying, what else you got about Warwick? What, what, what else is he going to say Oh, okay, about? yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Um, what what do you think Wicked has been up to? This is what Inverse is asking him between Return of the Jedi and Rise of Skywalker, and he says, "I don't know what's been going on. It's tricky. Has life been good for Ewoks or not? I'd like to think that their victory left them feeling pretty good about themselves. I mean, Wicked's had a child," he says. 
<laughs> Wicked I'm smashed. Sorry. Wicked I'm sorry. Wicked <laughs> This is canon. This, this some, like, well, somebody to, to, to get in Warwick's face and asking goddamn questions like this. I feel like Wicked is sex. banging. How do Wicked? How do Ewoks have sex? Uh, probably they don't with, have dicks. Uh, how do you know? They're, they're mammals. They're warm blooded. You know how many times I've paused Return of the Jedi and looked for listen, Ewoks listen. dicks? It may be one of those kinds that like go into the body, bro. You don't know. Oh, it could. Man. It could be. It could be. They could. They could have evolved to the point where their penises, when they're not in use, live inside of them. Oh, listen to this. He says, "Wicket had a child that other that other Ewok you see in Rise of Skywalker is his son, and indeed my son in reality who is inside that costume." Wait, wait, wait. Wait. So he didn't look like. Yeah, thank you. Sorry. For, thank sorry. you, wait, thank wait, you. Sorry. All the listeners are going, thank you, Rob. <laughs> we love when you burp directly into wait. the, the beer bottle that, 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 that amplifies that, it into the mic. It, it, it's a it, wonderful it. thing to listen to. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> I'm sorry. He says he's I'm got a family sorry. and stuff, but yeah. Wait, so, I, so his son actually was in the suit? I think so. I think that's what he's implying. I think that he was there as Wicket in that shot, but then his son was another Ewok? Wait, know, is, this, is this from the, the, the 80s movie or the most recent joints? This is from the most recent one. Okay, yeah. okay. okay uh, they ask him, do you think that there's room for even more Ewok stories in a movie or on Disney Plus? And he uh... says, who knows? Everything's possible within the Star Wars galaxy, and we've seen that. Who would have known we would have nine movies in total when we started with episode uh, four? Uh, who would know that we'd have Star Wars stories? Who would know that we'd have the Mandalorian TV series and lots of other exciting things to come? So never say never in the Star Wars universe. That's what I learned over the years. You know what I learned over the years? Never say yes to the Star Wars universe. <laughs> <laughs> because never say it, never. Maybe you should say never once in a while. It oh, hurts. No, no, I'm saying. It hurts. I'm saying. It may just be. Oh, um, so... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, and you just, you just point and I'm like, uh-huh, huh? Oh, right, this is why okay. we don't look at each other's computers. You that's have to that's why I don't look at yours. That's you why, you, you know how you have yours on like a, a slant yes. and I'm not like, what, what, what you got queued up there? You don't have to stop immediately what you're saying when I queue you up I, for the next I, I bit of I honestly thought you were pointing at the scotch I was drinking. I was like, yeah, it's scotch. I love that no matter how many times we record this podcast, you always play it as if we were literally being recorded on film. <laughs> Well, you, you know, I've always wanted to have us like I, I've always when when I when we started this podcast, yes. I really wanted to have this like it's coming filmed. I, I, want, do it. I, I think we tried it once. I, I filmed it with my my laptop. It yeah, it was not good. It was like it was not good. Um, We're gonna get they're, they're like two hundred bucks. Yeah, We're gonna get the little I, cameras. I, I, I feel like that that it's You'll it's only the most it's only the the, the <laughs> natural evolution of what this is because I feel like people would enjoy the the seeing of of the bullshit that goes on when we sure. record this because <laughs> i mean i mean you can only oh, garner god. so much oh god they I really mean, do drink I, I might actually have to like wear start wearing makeup like i might <laughs> fake eyelashes might start being part of my my thing you're like dude what's wrong with your face you, start, oh, you have your own nothing. lighting crew that comes in <laughs> as i'm just blinking at you are ridiculous are those fake eyelashes no <laughs> Do the Bambi eye shit at your ass. <laughs> you look like Chris Tucker in Fifth Element. Exactly. Ru- Ruby Rob. Ruby Rob. Ruby Rob. God damn it. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, all that to say. Uh, so. <laughs> no, but. but um, I, I think there, it's, 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 it's something to note. It's, it's something to note. Is okay. that um, apparently there are two Transformers films. That they're having in development right now. Oh, thank God! <laughs> and, and one and one of them might be Beast Wars. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad oh, thing. Oh, I, I feel like there's Beast there can only Wars. Be, I feel like there can only be good things from this. And 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 we've already said that like they've they they've made a Transformers movie. Not 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 since those uh, I mean since those are those original ones that was a good enough Transformers movie that we wanted to see this franchise. Done in 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 sort of like a a right way. Yeah. Other than Bumblebee. No, that's what I'm saying. Like oh, yeah, Bumblebee okay. was the one that that right. kind of we, it showed us that they could make a decent, cogent Transformers movie that I, I think we can all get behind. And um, the lowest budget. Uh, I mean, <laughs> the least amount. Wait, it made the least it, amount of all wait, the Transformers it, it, it movies. It makes. Wait, make, but it was it, the best wait, one. The least amount of money it made. Yeah. Well, oh, that's unfortunate. Well, people were so burnt by then, man. People you, were like, right. you know what? I you're don't right. want to go see another Transformers movie. But Michael you know Bay what? is like, you know what? This, but this, this, was, this wasn't a Michael Bay one, was not it? The, not Bumblebee, no. Yeah. And yeah. I, I think I think, I think think that's all this, this franchise really needed was somebody other than Michael Bay 
to sort of take the helmet because right. I mean because we they've been wanting to make these Transformer films like we've talked about on this podcast since the eighties yeah yeah but uh, and Michael Bay was the first motherfucker with the bread and the balls and to be like all right I'm gonna shoot cannons off and like, it, it basically was like a, a huge jack off like yeah. it was like a that but like somebody to take care and craft with it like Bumblebee's uh, uh, writer director whoever right. made that not gonna look it up but no, don't whatever. don't bother uh, it but. Because we've spoken about it, it 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 just it goes to show that these movies can serve. They can be what the like the the heart of what the uh, um, the eighties cartoons kind of brought. Because like, could you? I, I, I'm thinking about this like as a kid back in the eighties. Like, if they had the technology to make these movies the way they had wanted to, in in almost in tune with the cartoons. Mm-hmm. Like, who knows what, 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 like, what, what we could have had at this point. You know what I'm saying? So, well, like, yeah, well, the TV cartoon was a bit, uh, Well, the cartoons were fucking, there were 22 the movie, minutes shit shows. The, let's, the let's cartoon movie was pretty, pretty dark amazing. and awesome. Yeah. Pretty amazing fucking, soundtrack to that. I mean, I, I, I can still remember crying when Optimus Prime went from red and blue to just gray. I was like, what the fuck is going? Is this death? <laughs> no. Am I going to have to understand what death it is It was an now? introduction to death for yeah, a lot it, of kids. It, it, for for sure. a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so Paramount is simultaneously developing two scripts for these uh, Transformer movies. One is by James, James Vanderbilt, who wrote Zodiac, one of my favorite, favorite movies yeah, of all time. Yeah, so uh, the pedigree is, is already on, on par for being better than it has been right. in, in past. And the other script he wrote was The Amazing Spider-Man. Mm. That's the one with, uh, what's his face? Yeah, um, Ant- Garfield. Garfield, yeah. I'm not and, a fan. Uh, skateboarding Spider-Man. It's, you're like, wait a minute. I wasn't a fan. Um, it wasn't, yeah. And did those two actors like end up being Bill Hicks with in each that other? one, though. Oh, that, yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah, okay. Sh- shout, shout out, out. Shout out to the boy Bill Heck. Heck. Yeah, I, I, I definitely like that movie better because Bill Heck was in it at the he's top. On the, he's a villain on the plane. With, right at the top. You were there, like, right what the fuck? And he starts to proceed the fuck up Peter Parker's family. And I'm like... Good for you, Bill Heck. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I don't. I was like, I don't know how I feel because that is completely out of character for who you are. But I love seeing you be a bad guy. Uh, the other script is being written by Joby Harold, who wrote King Arthur. Wait, and the, I don't the one with um, Clive Owen and what's her face. I don't know. I don't know if it's that King Arthur or if it's the one that uh, what's his face just did. It was like not Jamie Fox. No, no, the most the most remake one with. Um, Oh, uh, egg, 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 that's that, yeah, yeah. yeah that one with Jamie Foxx, and that's Robin Hood. Oh, right, yeah, Jamie Foxx, exactly. Oh, that's Robin Hood. No, no, not that one. But he also did no King. Oh my God, what did is he the, do a King Arthur? No, there's a King Arthur that the guy who was in the movie with Rami. I can't. I think I know the one you're talking. About. He it's was not he, the, the actor who was in um, that first uh, 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 Mech movie. Uh, uh, what was yes. it? Yes. Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim. That dude. By the way, that movie's set in the year 2020 and is now is 2020. So oh, where's shit. our kaiju, man? Stop saying shit like that, dog. Come on. Where's our kaiju? On. Stop where's, saying... Where's our big okay, robots? You, we got the planet on fire and you want to add to that? I mean, like, yeah. Now stop it. Stop it right up now. the stakes, 2020. Why, why we need up... Okay, okay. I, I hear why you're saying... script writing. Need, because there's, there's 9 billion motherfuckers on the planet and we could use a couple kaijus to sort of just like thin the herd a little bit. But, but, but stop it. Right. Don't don't even put that evil in the world right now, uh, Claire. Joby Harold also wrote Army of the Dead, which is the yes. upcoming yes, movie yes, 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 yes. that uh, our buddy Rock Castillo, who you met at the restaurant that I work at. Oh, word. Yeah, so he's in that. Oh, no shit. Yeah, a whole bunch of people are in that. Okay, that's what's up. Uh, but so, yeah, okay. This so see, okay. so, th- so th- those are reasons to, t- to maybe check in to... Charlie Hannon, that's the guy's name, I, I believe, who's in... King Arthur, Guy Ritchie movie. Thank you. Uh, go oh, okay, on. Sorry. Okay. I just, had to, it was, just took a moment. Got no, it. All that to say is these might be two Transformer movies to look for on the horizon that may not suck as right. bad as some of the previous insta- um, installs. But probably will. Uh, see, I, I feel like you, 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 you're a glass half, uh, you're a glass half empty type motherfucker is what I, you is. I, I blame Star Wars. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I will always be a glass half empty kind of guy since, yeah. since Rise of Skywalker. Oh, God. Uh, uh, well, you, 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 you can't let shit affect you like that, though. How do you like this uh, new first look of Captain America and Falcon and Winter Soldier? These are set photos. Is that a set photo? Because that looks like fan art. It does look like fan art. Uh, so this is actually either fan art or a photo or a photo that's been made to look like fan art of Wyatt Russell as John Walker. Who? Wyatt Russell is John Walker. I don't know either of those those names. John Walker apparently is like the guy that I think I, this, is your, this, this is your angle, man. So this is Here, a comic book. Why don't you look up John Walker in this in oh, the big God. encyclopedia? All right, all right. I'm looking up John Walker. 
Uh, so, as confirmed by Marvel Studios head Kevin Feige at last year's D23 Expo, the Falcon and Winter Soldier will also introduce John Walker, played by Russell. Uh, in Marvel Comics, Walker adopted the mantle of Captain America for a time before becoming U.S. agent. Oh, you okay. All right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, okay. it sounds like what's going to happen is you're going to have Corny, Bucky, though. and you're going to have Falcon, and they're going to be out there, and all of a sudden the government's going to be like, hey, and yeah. here's the new Captain America, and then Falcon's been like, wait a minute. I'm Captain America. What's his name? Uh, uh, John something? John Walker. 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 <clears throat> so then Falcon will be all like, yo, dude. Um, yeah, apparently he's I'm, not... He, I'm, I'm the new Captain America see, here. This is, this is... You know what? Maybe I have to do U.S. Agent. I got agent. the shield. I'll have to do U.S. Agent because you, you gave me his government name, and his government name doesn't register in the big book. So right. So we'll go U.S. Agent. Yeah, U.S. Agent. He, there's not a shot of the shield here. He's not well, wearing the shield. It's basically, well, his shield is basically... He, he basically... There was there was a time when he he was rocking actually Captain America's shield and then once he kind of left that that brand they gave him his own kind of shield which okay. I don't I don't know if it was made out of the same you know uh, uh, um, uh, polymorphic thing where it was yeah he doesn't even he's not even okay here we go U S agent bang yeah what's it say uh, John F Walker first appearance. November 1986. Oh, okay. Uh, da 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 da. Ba ba ba. Washington. Blah 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 blah. Superhuman strength. Uh, Ex soldier John Walker struck a deal with the power broker. Oh. Okay. Oh, the power copy, broker. Copy, copy, copy. To become the super, the super, to become the hero, super patriot. When Steve, Ro- oh sorry, sorry, sorry. When Steve Rogers uh, resigned as Captain America, Walker replaced him in the role. After Rogers reclaimed his shield. Walker became the U.S. agent fighting alongside the Avengers at the end of the Dark Reign. That's a good. Uh, that's a good uh, um, arc in the Marvel mm-hmm. canon. There, he lost his left arm and leg in combat and became Warden O of the Raft Super Prison. Okay. okay. While trapped in an alternate reality with the Dark Avengers, he bonded with a lobotomized Venom symbiote. As that's you do. Fascinating. To restore his limbs, Sweet. Walker confronted Sam Wilson. This Boom. is why we're getting him yep. in the in the book here. Right. Um, confronted Sam Wilson when Sam seemed to lose control as Captain America, and he later joined the struggle against the evil Hydra, Captain America. Right. So in this in this Disney Plus TV show, Falcon Winter Soldier, the U.S. government doesn't want Sam Wilson to become Captain America. Of course not. Uh, and instead, they give it to John Walker. Uh-huh. It's unclear though is how the government gets Steve Shield, or if they've created Captain America Shield of their own. I think I think they do because. Like I, I, what I remember from reading U.S. Agent, this is '85. Like he, that's the first appearance, and he kind of had been in the mm-hmm. comics for a little bit. Uh, is that somewhere along the lines, he either gives the shield back to Cap, or Cap gets it back from him, and then he gets his own. Right. It looks. It's kind of a very. It, 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 the color. You know how his outfit is like the red and black. Yeah. The shield kind of matches that, and it, they make it. I don't know if it's adamantium and. Vibranium, mm-hmm. or I think it was just a vibranium shield. I feel like they got a ton of that shit now, though. After Endgame, right? Because all that stuff like crashed to Earth, right. so they could they have well, tons of I mean, alien well, material well, that the they could build. The fact stuff that out the, uh, Wakanda has been literally Wakanda? sitting on a fucking exactly. mound of vibranium, yep, uh, it gives a, a lot of impetus to do other things. What's what's I think is palatably more fascinating is the introduction of adamantium, or where you get adamantium from. Because where's adamantium come from? Uh, <laughs> It's Wolverine's just, claws, right? It's Wolverine's Sh- claws, and, and, and as far as we know, it comes from the same place that not the same place, but it it got to Earth in the same way that vibranium uh, did. Cool, crashed, and then a motherfucker found it. It, it, it. They they do a lot of this in in the um in that shitty shitty Wolverine movie with um uh, Liev Shriver. Origins, Origins, holy yeah, shit, so good. So good, and your boy Ryan. Yeah, yeah. That's how Ryan gets to it's be like, like, Deadpool yeah. eventually. Let's take um, let's take the best part of Deadpool is his wisecracking talking, and let's and show, his mouth, show his mouth shut. Yeah, uh, um, but, but anyway, but anyway. I would argue that Wolverine's origin is worth it just to have Deadpool two go back in time at the end and, of that and movie and shit on that. And yeah. shit on it. Yeah, it's, so good. You're right. You're so good. <laughs> it's almost yeah, it's almost worth it's it, right? Worth it. Yeah. Uh, does this get you excited for Captain America and the Winter Soldier? You know, actually, it it does because it or sounds like be Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Well, it sounds like they're going to be dealing with the race issues mm-hmm. that came with um, uh, Captain America giving the ma- the mantle of Captain America to I Sam Wilson. I hope so. I hope it's just because, not some like you violated the Sokovia well, Awards well, and so you can't do I it. I hope so. I hope so too. But like, if they're doing due diligence, 
because uh, those comics that 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 those first issues of Captain America when Sam Wilson takes over mm-hmm. are some of at least the first I'd say the first ten issues of that book are awesome. Okay, because they deal with Sam coming to terms with being Captain America and dealing with like it it's it's all sort of like present day. So he's like he's like deal, he's like basically Captain America in like the Trump era, right? Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? That was so good, right? So. Like those first, I, I, and I read, I read a good portion of that. Those first initial uh, um, new uh, Sam Wilson Captain America books, they're really good. Yeah, and and like I, I mean, I don't know. Like I'm a black man, and I'm I'm, I'm watching. I'm a black man who has a pension to want to, uh, or like I I, I kind of like I look up to these these books. These books are sort of like models for like being like if if somebody gave me superpowers tomorrow, I would go out and try to start like helping people the way that like superheroes are supposed to. Right. You have a few beers first. Oh, definitely. Oh, I, I'd I'd be like uh, your man Will in that movie with uh, where he was a superhero and Charlize is in it with them. Uh, oh, oh, Hancock. Hancock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the kind of superhero like I, I sort of aspire to be. Like it's <laughs> noon. Oh shit! I should probably do something. He sort of grabs a girl's ass in the first like five minutes of that movie, and she goes asshole. He's like whatever. He's like I could kill you, but I'm not going to I could kill you. Whatever. It's, <laughs> we're still about six or seven years away from me too. I'm good on this. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein trial is going on right now. Harvey Weinstein well. was like, "Let's greenlight this." Let's greenlight it. <laughs> Actually, I'd be surprised if I'd be honestly surprised if he didn't greenlight. He it. probably did. <laughs> like, like that was probably one of his. Uh, anywho, yes. Yeah. Uh, also, we got bummer news. This we got we got Kobe Bryant died mm-hmm. this week, or maybe last week, depending on when this no, comes it was, out. It was wow. Um, it was this honestly, week. I felt a little ways about this, but then I was like, "What eh. ways did you feel?" I was like, "Damn!" Helicopter crash. I was like, "The." What, what the ways that I felt about it was mostly about the the fact that his daughter was yes. with him. Yes, yeah, for sure. I was like, "Fuck, thirteen, damn." Yeah. And then the other part that I was like, "Yeah, but fuck it." He, it, it honestly doesn't affect my life in the least. Mm-hmm. He played a sport. He was really good at it. Yep. Great. Yeah. That's that, that's the extent of it, because. Uh, but his legacy is it, yeah. it has issues. Yes. And uh, and that's fine. I mean. It's fine. I mean, not fine, but... And his issues were that he was accused of rape. Yeah. 2013. I mean, he probably did that shit. He probably did that shit. He probably did that shit. According to Dave Chappelle, pretty much did that shit. So, like, honestly, honestly, when the news came out about this particular... Like, I remember being, like, of age and sort of, like... I was mad at him. I was like, what? Yeah. Because you, 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 like, you saw his wife, right? You've seen what his wife looks like, right? Like... So for Kobe to be out there fucking around on a woman who looked like that, mm-hmm. I felt a ways because I I was in my twenties and I was struggling. I was yeah. like running after you know anybody who would like look my way, and I'm like, son, you you got you got literally Kobe beef, no pun intended, mm-hmm. at the house, yeah, and you going out for fucking hamburger in Colorado, the yeah, fuck's, no, yeah, no, fuck you, from bro. the maid. Fuck you, bro. You know what? I, I I was on I was on the bandwagon. I hope you go to jail. I'm gonna yeah. keep it a thousand. I was like, I hope you go to jail. I, that, but, that's rare. But Kobe, that's, that's Kobe rare played for, for his a, freedom for being a black man and right. having that opinion. Right. Well, and, yeah. I if you haven't noticed that, I'm I'm usually on the the lesser end of a lot of <laughs> popular opinions when it comes to motherfuckers. You like me? I do. I generally you know, do. I most people do. don't. That's not true. <laughs> Everybody That's loves not me. true. Everybody loves you. Uh, there was a Washington Post report suspended. Yeah, I heard this. Right? Well, because because media dumb. is not really talking about this, this rape accusation not at all. all. They've sort of well, washed well, it aside. It, well, for at least for the first couple of, of of days of the reporting of this, they were really kind of kid gloves with the accusations, yeah. almost almost non-existent. When they like, I learned I I learned a new term. I, I feel like I should have learned it known it already. Um, based on the the New York Times. Uh, uh, Write up that they did. Uh, Hagiography, he- he- Hagiography, Hagiography, yeah, Hagiography. Yeah. Basically, like idol worship. Yes, like I didn't know the term until. Like, here's all the things that he did with his life, right? Minus this minus one all thing the fuckery that, that yeah. Did, yeah, did or did not happen. And and uh, there was someone who I actually posted uh, an article that someone kind of wrote that I saw sort of it. addressed both the the aspects of. I, I think the title was. Yeah, Kobe Bryant and a complicated legacy. Yes, and and that is ex- ostensibly what he was. He was a complicated dude who has this really great, amazing 
legacy, but it is definitely you got you can't not talk about this portion of it. The reason I brought it up because we just interviewed uh, D.W. Khan about mm-hmm. Lovecraft P- right. Lovecraft P.I. Right. Lovecraft has a very, very racist sorted, background. Sorted, like, and and what's 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 actually really interesting is that like neither one of us who are kind of like fans of of this this genre, fans of this this medium, we we weren't privy to a lot of this. Yeah, which which is fast. Like, how how is it that his 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 creation kind of permeates a, a substrata of of nerd that we we get down on, but we didn't know that the man himself had these ideologies that because people don't like to have two things at once. They don't like to idolize somebody like Kobe Bryant mm-hmm. and also say yes, he probably raped this woman or but they that's settled okay. significantly out of court yeah. with this money. Right. That becomes complicated so people like to just push that complication aside. I, 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 why? Why is why is it why not just own up, face up to it? The dude did this shit. He was he he then paid maybe not the way that we all think he should have paid, but in subsequent years I feel like he, his Phil, phil, philanthropic efforts in those directions were more scaled up, right? And maybe that I mean, I guess the your detractors would say, well, you know, that's a guilty conscience, blah blah mm-hmm. blah. But but isn't isn't someone who 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 is actively taking a part to sort of like own their shit without actually saying I did something, right? Isn't that more? Isn't that what we want to just be? Does he have to be like? And I'm not. I'm not out here trying to defend him. Yeah. I, like I'm. I'm the first motherfucker to be like he probably did that yeah. shit. But like he just died with his daughter. Right. Do we? Well, it's, is, just like, it's just is like is when it like a, it's just like that argument when like a school shooting happens. People like it's not the time to blame guns. Let's be honorable to the victims right. and let's respect right. them which and is, blah 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 blah. Horseshit. And the it's like yeah, it's like you which can still be respectful and say I did not want Kobe Bryant and his daughter you know to die, to die in a helicopter accident. But the motherfucker probably raped somebody, probably raped somebody. and somebody. maybe his death gives this person a little bit more. Right. Closure or safety or what, what or whatever you know the feeling that that someone who survives an assault like that from a powerful person you know could feel. Right. And on top of that, let's he was he probably was a really good dad too. No, you know and, what yeah. I mean? Yeah, like that's you can yeah. have those two things. You can have somebody who rapes somebody and also is like a really good dad to his daughters at the same time. Holy shit! Which is, I mean, that's that, fucked up, but no, it's true. It's not, it's not. It's not. It's not even that fucked up because I. One of the things I was into this week was the documentary of Aaron Hernandez. Oh yeah, I haven't watched it yet. Holy, on Netflix. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, we'll 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 jump into that. Okay, like, when and, we, and, yeah, next episode. Oh my god. Yeah. And this speaks. It almost speaks entirely to what we're talking about right. here in this in this particular moment. But anyway, uh, I just want to real quick say that Felicia Sanmez was the reporter that was basically was fired. Put on, yeah, she was put on suspension after a okay. widespread outcry, and all she Which did was dumb. all she did was take a article. That was about Kobe Bryant's rape uh-huh. and, the, and the accuser, and, and she and tweeted it. it. She oh. didn't even say, "I support this." I blah blah blah. Look this at is this. The, this is what she happened. literally just tweeted the article, and they suspended it. And they suspended yeah, her. This is this, that's that fuckery. Uh, but it, like it happened, I feel like what she did was it was right at the top of it. Like it was like in the in the twelve to twenty four hour period of the reporting yes. on it. Yeah. And I think that garnered enough people to be like, yeah. Yeah. oh my God, he just died. And, right. and all that shit, which had nothing to do with the reporting on it. Right. So she anyway. says in her tweets that followed this, Washington Post journalists endeavor to live up to the paper's mission statement, which states, quote, the newspaper shall tell all the, the truth, truth so far as we can learn it concerning yep. the important affairs of America and the world. Yep. Uh, subsequent tweets, my suspension and at Post Barron's January 26th email warning me that my tweets about a matter of public record were hurting this institution have unfortunately sown confusion about what? the depth of management's commitment to this goal. Were hurting the Washington Post? Yeah. How? Yep. How was her rep- doing the literal job they had hired her to do? Because all of those people who don't want to face that truth that complicated legacy of Kobe Bryant mm-hmm. are going, well, how could the Washington Post endorse this reporter who, who on her own time from her facts? own thing put up a factual argument? That Yeah, it's messed up. And it's the same sort of enabling that keeps Trump in power. Oh, shit, You know what bro. I mean? Holy shit, so, bro. Who, I, you know what? I, I, I want to I take this. I want to take a pause right here to, to pat ourselves on the back for keeping a lot of that shit that is literally flooding 
everybody's thoughts going forward into the 2020. We've managed to keep that away from this. Yeah. We've, we've definitely been like, mm, yeah, this really crazy shit is going on outside the world. But hey, Star Wars, right? <laughs> Well, come on. We've talked about it a little bit. Particularly with this episode, we trick a lot of people and be like, this is the news. Now we're going to talk about a complicated ep- episode of Kobe Bryant and Israel. Uh, all that to say is that there's some shit popping off in the Senate right now that we we have yeah. stayed steered yes. very clear from. Uh, we, we made a, a, a very large. I don't know where to land on it. And I'm like, every, very... every day it's a different thing. Oh by the time we, we could we could talk about impeachment I... in Bolton now, but by the time this episode goes up in three days, it's going to all be changed. Be a, yeah, I don't. You know what? I'm glad. All I'm saying is that I'm glad that we took we took a stance and may not even been like an like. Like a conscious, like, hey, we're not gonna do this. We were just like, hey, all that really fucking thing is happening outside. Yeah. Um, hmm. You read this comic? <laughs> <laughs> read this really good comic, guys. It's so uh, Johnny yeah. Cash had trouble with women. Well, Chuck Berry had uh, had got caught um, basically uh, recording oh, yeah. women in his, I think, Wait, restaurant. You said Chuck Berry? Yeah, Chuck Berry. Like, come on, baby. Does yeah. he twist Chuck Berry? Yeah, yeah. He basically got caught videotaping women in the bathroom. Uh, wait, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Reese. Videotaping? Yes. Like, this is Chuck Berry. When... Yes. He served 20 months of the three years that he was originally sentenced. I'm, see, he I, got I, out on appeal after a judge made racist comments. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I'm only kind of like talking about Chuck Berry, but because you said videotape, which means they were talking about Chuck Berry videotaping somebody in the era that videotapes, you needed a fucking tape. Yeah. So this is like, he's in the bathroom with like a full on, like, Camcorder bazooka, basically. Yeah. Which makes me think, like, if if you're a woman in a bathroom and you see a motherfucker roll in there with a, basically a camera crew, don't you? Oh wait, you no, no, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm on. I'm, I'm... <laughs> okay, <laughs> I was like, yo, man, some I gotta start asking some questions because this shit is not lining the fuck uh, up. Uh, he was tossed in the cling for violating the Man Act, a law that prohibits taking a woman across state lines. That's that makes sense with because immoral intentions of doing so. And the yeah. girl was fourteen. Yes, this yeah. this I'm this, thinking somebody else. Hold on. Yeah, because this is uh, this is actually uh, um, featured in no, no. Cadillac Records. In 1989, he was accused of videotaping women in the bathroom of one of his restaurants. Okay, so okay. two different things. Okay, okay, uh, okay. That all right? Now this is making a little yes. bit more sense. I'm Elvis like, wait, had underage flings well, with many many Elvis women. Elvis married. Um, what's her face? Who was um... you're talking about? Jerry Lee Lewis. Oh, him too. Yeah. But didn't Elvis um, marry like a young cousin or some shit? You talking about Jerry, Jerry Lee Lewis? Yeah. No, but didn't... great balls of fire, dude. But didn't Elvis? Oh no, Priscilla. It was Priscilla. Pris- <laughs> Priscilla. Priscilla. Mon- that's fine. She's a woman. Okay. <laughs> that's no. That's no. 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 Stephen Stephen Tyler from Aerosmith. Dude, he had a child listen, girlfriend. Listen, listen, we can go down the laundry list of motherfuckers. Miles who did. Davis, drugs. Come on, spouse stop it. abuse. Bro, bro. It, like, Richard Wagner. What, what is this? A maniacal what is this, this, this website that you're on? Because this literally, like, if you if you listen to pop music from any era. Yeah. There's going to be, like, yo, indictments for a lot of motherfuckers. Right. Sweet child of mine. And that's my Excuse point, me? though, is that, like, we can have all of that, and you can still say yes or no to are you going to listen to a Michael Jackson song. You know what I mean? Probably. You have to be able to, like, you can't just whitewash <laughs> over all of that. You know what I mean? Probably. R. Kelly? R. Kelly is it, a harder, is a, I think there's a, a, a huge canon of his work that is no longer allowed <laughs> Just, just way too specific. It's just way too specific, bro. Like just, <laughs> just wait. And, and he was so blatant about it. Like, yes. At least some of these other motherfuckers were like, "All right, well, get in the van and like draw the shade." He Jesus. was just like, "Kelly, I, I didn't do anything. She's fifteen. She she wants to be here." And you're like, "No, you're you're a ooh." Ooh. Yeah, and he's, he's still alive and making money off of that shit. So I'm like, mm, mm, nah, mm, you gotta. But at least Michael's dead. Yeah, Michael's dead. This is also we don't even know. Like I was thinking about this too. Like let's say that like there was a museum exhibit that opened and it was the artwork of Genghis Khan, right? Which would be gangsters, and fuck. we would all go there oh, and we would all see it and we'd be like, wow, Genghis Khan and was either a really good artist or look at that, blah blah blah. And he murdered millions of people. He also did have sex with a bunch of them too. So right. I mean, exactly. Well, I mean, sex or rape? Uh, oh, oh, you don't know. Ooh. But because of mm. enough passage of time, we're like we were able to like look at that and say, okay, let's just go and you know what I mean. So, I was actually having this conversation with a friend of mine recently, where I was like, "There's a great, there's a 
huge population of the planet who have Genghis Khan lineage lineage yeah, yeah. because he fucked so much of the yeah. world at at a, a particular junction in human evolution yeah so like there's a bunch of people who who might not even know it they're like blonde haired blue eyed sure. and they're like wait what Mon- Mongol like Mongolian 3% Mongolian yo that's racist <laughs> No, no, what's racist is the time I was on the train, just minding my own business, and I look over and I see a guy and I was like, <gasps> Mongolian, for no reason, oh, just no reason, and then in the very next breath was like, what the fuck am I thinking? Why did I think that guy's Mongolian? Meanwhile, he had like a hawk on his shoulder, he's covered in fur, he's got like a was, big dagger. All it was was his hat. It looks like he the villain from Mulan. <laughs> Uh, it's just a hat. He's just wearing a hat. He looks over at you and he winks and he goes, Yeah, I'm in cosplay. I was literally, dude, I was literally like on the train to mind my business. And I look up and with, with like at, with absolute earnest and fear in my heart, I was like, <gasps> Mongolian. <laughs> like, I, I don't even know why. Like, that was some like, like latent, like lizard brain, like, like past life shit where I, me and this motherfucker had some shit. I looked up. And he didn't even see me. I just saw him, and I was like, oh, that's Mongolian. And then very next time, I was like, what the fuck? Not even remotely. Yeah. Everyone, everyone's got bias, though. That's the thing. Is that I don't like... feel like it was a bias. I feel like it was. I was deathly afraid that this Mongolian was going to murder me in this train. Well, he was pointing a bow and arrow at you. <laughs> <laughs> he had a lynx by his side. I saw it. I seen it. I seen it. It was, it was crazy. Well, what else you got? Anything uh, else? I think. I think. I, I mean, that's, that's. I think that's all I got for the news this week. Oh, oh, oh. Now this one is actually I I I I tagged specifically for you. Um, okay. Is uh, just for me. Final it was Fantasy why Tactics. everybody loves Final Fantasy Tactics because I think it was Kirk Hamilton, 2013. It's an old article. I read it oh, back yeah. in like okay, this piece was yeah, 2013. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Uh, but it, yeah, everybody yeah. does love Final Fantasy Tactics. But I thought I think I think it came back because I think it's the anniversary of I think of, so. of Tactics. I, I want to say like the 20. It's it's a golden one. It's, it's the like, 30th, I think. Is it the 30th? I think no. no it's I good. feel no, like no, it's no, like no. the 20 20th. 20th it, yeah, it, yeah. it was something momentous. I was like, oh, I got to save that for Larry to bring it up because I feel like when I met you, yeah. This was the only game that you were playing. Oh yeah, you, I've, I've played, you played the shit out of two this. or three times, and all you—I I just needed you to give me an excuse to end this episode <laughs> with some Final Fantasy Tactics music. Well, well, there you go, my dude. There you go. That's and that's why we're friends. Yes, because the the, the universe speaks to me, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna save this for Larry. The music Bow. is so good. Just listen to this, guys. It's awesome. Well, I'm your host, Lauren Style, and I'm your boy, Rob Karma Robinson. And you were gonna is, say something about cut you off? No, no, no. I was just <laughs> like, like I, I, didn't, I didn't know any of these. Like, like, have like, you ever played it? I've never played. Like, no. Oh, go the go. only like, I'm not a Final Fantasy guy. The only it's Final, not, Final Fantasy brought me in with seven. Seven brought yeah. me in. I played seven. I played eight, and then I was like, sub, just off of those. I, I don't know. Was, I, I mean, I don't know how you're gonna play it now, but no, no. I, I don't think I will. But like, four, but I, I know that you're a fan of this, but like. Just looking at some of this this art, I'm like, oh, that's the artwork's really fantastic! Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's really fucking great. Yeah. So anyway, I'm your boy Rob Carmen Robinson. <laughs> I'm Lauren Style. You can hit us up on uh, Facebook at What We Into. You can send us an email, What We Into at gmail.com. Uh, Patreon.com slash What We Into. Throw us a buck, please. Uh, hit yeah. us up. We're we're around. And uh, welcome to. Uh, well, technically, this uh, would this be second year. Is this what well, we just because we got the artwork doesn't mean it's second year. We've already been in our second, second year. All right, it's right. like our fourth episode. All right, all right, all right, we can right, just right. let that go. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm a stickler for those things. I'm a stickler. <laughs> all right.